Hi Diamonds, welcome to day six of our Leap to Lead program. Sheree Reeves here, your star director. Um, I wanted to start off by showing you something that I used to love doing a long time ago. Um, have a look here. This is one of my children's scrapbooking albums and it's actually Brielle. And I used to love, well I probably still love it, but I haven't done it for quite some time. I've still got all my stuff to do it again. But um, yeah, nice little ribbons here and tearing of paper. Quite, quite um, a time consuming thing, scrapbooking. Um, I did enjoy it though a lot. I loved um, what I would come up with. And I'm not normally a creative person, but um, I would get help from different friends at times and get, it was a good excuse to catch up and socialize. This is just some of the things I used to do um, in my spare time. There we go. I've got more of that I still do. That's why I like this one. I keep that. So yeah, that's just some of my um, pages from my scrapbooking days. And um, with with the um, with my scrapbooking, it was. Definitely something that would cost me a lot of money. Um, I would invest a lot of time into it and, of course, money. And um, But I got a lot of satisfaction out of it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and it's the kind of thing that, you know, when I would come back to it or if I choose again to come back to it at any time, it's still going to be there waiting for me. It's something I can take on and do whenever suits. Um, it really was just something I did for enjoyment um, absolutely whenever worked for me there's no structure involved I do have goals for it um I would um you know I'd like to finish the first five years for all of my children unfortunately the last two I haven't even started I'm um, thinking of working more on the computer for those ones like um you know how you print off the books um just because of the huge amount of time that goes into it but um yeah it was it's purely a hobby and something that I enjoyed now, some of us, when we join Sensi, we may have chosen to join just like I have with my scrapbooking, more for fun, more for enjoyment. Um, we might do the occasional orders when they suit um, or come along. They, we might have chosen to join just to get cheaper Sensi. Perhaps we have a goal just like my scrapbooking, but you know, even when we get to it, we're not too fussed about it. Um, and we do it whenever when it suits, when there's nothing else to do or we're bored or we just feel like it and um, we don't have to meet targets or have any stress involved in, you know, um, what happens with it. And that's totally fine. We can choose to do Sensi as a hobby and that's great. But if you're choosing and not, if you're in this program, it seems to me that you're wanting it as a business um, instead of it costing you money because when you do Sensi as a hobby, it will cost you money. You will get it cheaper but you're still outlaying more than you will be getting back in um, if it's just um, as a hobby. If you're wanting to work Sensi as a business, then you would be looking at doing things like putting systems and procedures into place um, and having structures. That's what you need in a business. Your hours, yes, in our line of work, our hours are flexible, but they're definitely not optional. Um, the goals, um, we... Definitely we'll plan for goals and we'll plan to achieve them within a certain amount of time. So there's not just an indefinite time period on the end of those. And we definitely have profit incentives, which would be to make money. With a business, you invest money into it. You also invest time and you sacrifice other things in order to make sure that you can invest those things into it. But with that, Sensi will then make you money. So for you, you need to ask yourself, is Sensi going to cost you money, like a, biz like a hobby, or is Sensi going to make you money, like a business? And then you need to check, is my goal in line with the way that I'm working my business so that therefore I can achieve it? So you need to double check your goal and have a look at how it is that you're working your business to make sure that that's working. Now remember, when you're checking your goal, Sensi is not your why for rank advancing to lead or to whatever level. That's not your why. Sensi is your how. Your goal is what it is that your that Sensi is going to help you to achieve your why 
example, your goal is your why and sense is the how to achieving it. Now it's really important when you work any business, especially direct selling business, that you understand the compensation plan. Now you'll find this in the back of your catalog. Um, the compensation plan, it is the blueprint of um, for your success within this business. It clearly highlights um, the rewards that you'll enjoy at each level and what you need to do to get there. And with the, um, with the compensation plan, you're going to go through each level basically one step at a time. Um, some of you might double jump from, you know, do a double rank advance in a month, that's fine. You just did a, a double leap of the stairs, two steps at once. But yeah, it's essentially one step at a time. And when we all start out, we start off at the essential. Okay, you can open up yours and have a look. And, and once you've done um, a lifetime or however long it takes to achieve a thousand PRV, you will then rank advance to um, the certified level. Now with certified, you get um, a pay rise of 5%. So your pay goes up to 30%, sorry, 25% instead of 20%. And you can take as long as you want to get there. That's what I mean by a lifetime of PRV. Um, can you all see that? All right. While you're at certified, it's kind of like you've got a sales job. So whatever sense you're selling, you'll be making the commissions off that. However, once you rank advance from the certified and go up to the next step to lead consultant, then um, you basically hit leadership level. You are required, so you need to know this to know what your requirements are to achieve the level of lead. Personally, you're going to need 500 PRV. You need to have an active recruit to hit lead level. So active means 150 PRV. It's important that you know what each, um, all the terms mean in Sensi. And together between you and your, um, cons um, your downline, so someone that you've recruited, um, you need to also have a combined group wholesale volume of 1,000. Group wholesale volume is um, basically a, your PRV or total PRV less a flat rate of 25% commission. So you work that out by doing the combined PRV of you and anyone in your team and times in that by 0.75. Hold on one sec. Hey guys, Cade, great idea to jump in the tram. Off you go quickly. I need you to be nice and quiet. Sorry about that. Um, so with the, um, and with, when I said you need a minimum, um, one active recruit being 150 PRV, one is the minimum. Um, I recommend that you always look at at least double. So I'd be aiming for two there. Okay, so a quick analogy. Um, by using the sun's rays, you can focus a magnifying glass onto some paper with the rays that come through it. And if you hold really, really still, um, you will be able to use the heat that comes from uh, the heat of the sun's rays to create fire. Now, if you start moving the magnifying glass, it's not going to it's not going to work. All of that um, all of that effort is going to be wasted. Now, it's the same with um, with your sensi business. When you use your when you focus your time, your energy, and your resources on the key actions that are needed to have a successful business, then you will be rewarded. You will get that heat, the fire. Um, the desired outcome. But if your attention wavers, your efforts go to waste as well, just like that magnifying glass. So the sharper your focus is, the higher your income can be. The most powerful choice you can make is to commit to your business. A commitment is basically a promise, a promise that you will achieve your goal. And you need to promise to achieve that goal without those self-defeating conditions attached to it like mm, I'll just give it my best go or I'll see where it takes me or um, uh, I'll do this business properly when Sensi gets rid of shipping or uh, I'll do it if I can find a recruit. You notice there's a lot of ifs in there. Um, they're the self-defeating um, like little backup plans so that if things don't go to plan you've got this thing to fall onto that was like oh well I was only only 
do it while the while the wave lasted. I actually did said exactly that when I first started because remember I didn't join for myself. I joined to help somebody else with their goal, and I was like, yeah, I'll do it, and I'll just see where the wave takes me. And um, now and then I'd even say, oh, I'm just going to do this. Like I was just going to go to America, and then I was going to quit after. Like yeah, I'll just do America. Um, thankfully, it was when I was in America that I realized um, very quickly the potential that Sensi had through meeting people that were enjoying those things right now. I need you to buy up on me now. Is that okay? Thanks. I've got kids signing, so that makes it a bit trickier. Um, so where was I at? Um, oh, yeah, the self-defeating conditions. So, yeah, it was through meeting people and feeling inspired by their commitment to their business and their goals that made me realise I needed to get rid of those negative thoughts, those self-defeating conditions attached to my business and look at committing to some new um, positive, solid principles that I could found um, build my business from. Um, so I want to share some of them with you too. Um, one of them was I have the power to change my life, my family's life and my team's life. That's something I actually have on my affirmation board. That's one of the things I've kept on there. Um, one that I grew up with is go for it. Every time I set a goal, I can hear my parents saying, I can see it on my lounge room wall, go for it. Um, as, yeah, Growing up, all of us kids, that was kind of our motto for a year. My parents used to pick different mottos each year. That was one of them. Another one is fake it till you make it. Um, beat your best. I'm constantly trying to beat my best. Um, I know what my top parties are, my top number of recruits in a month. I know what um, how best is for our team and all those kind of things. And I want to beat my best. It's not about me beating anybody else's numbers. It's about beat, beating my best so that I know that I'm constantly improving and progressing and growing. Um, I want it. I deserve it. I will do it. Believe you deserve to achieve. That's another one. Oh, I like this one too. If I'm not working, what do... What do I need to change? Am I doing enough or am I doing the wrong things? Um, being brave enough to realise that you might be doing the wrong thing is um, its pretty big. its It enables you to realise, hey, I'm not perfect at this straight away and I'm willing to do what I need to do to learn more or better ways and learn from other people, which is why we're part of a team. Um, when we share those ideas and share what does work for us, we help other people to learn as well and it always comes back um, often you know tenfold which is why I share everything I do with you guys um, I want you to learn that principle and to do it for others as well um, another one is I will keep working and learning until I achieve my goal I cannot fail if I do not quit before I succeed that's another one that I keep up um, every time I set a new goal I commit to achieving that goal and so I've committed to my business I've committed to my goal and I know I can't fail it could take me longer than I would like but I'm not giving up I am definitely going to achieve that goal and I'm going to try and do it within the time I've set but if that needs adjusting that's totally fine or if my goal needs adjusting along the way not to make it easier but just because of circumstances then I'm happy to do that as well but I commit to achieving it no matter what our power comes from within. When we refuse to give up on our dreams, no matter what, we will definitely achieve. Um, instead of waiting for success to happen, we need to make it happen. Instead of waiting for things to get better, we need to make ourselves better. And that's when I'm talking about that learning. We will make mistakes. I promise you, you will. And if you don't, then you're not trying hard enough. And you will face obstacles. And if you don't, you're not living in the real world. Obstacles come along all the time. Like kids just coming into my video. Things come up that you're not ready for and you've just got to face it front on and continue. Because you've committed, you can continue driving forward towards that destination. Even if you've got to go around for a little bit, keep driving forward. Um, this brings me to my, my Ds. Um, We'll call it the three Ds, but I've actually kind of built to five Ds. So growing your business, it takes the, I'll call it the five Ds then. You've got dedication and determination. You've got to dedicate to your business and to your goals and be determined to achieve them no matter what. Um, 
And that's why it's really good to have that visual so that you don't lose sight of it. You're constantly seeing it. How many of you have noticed that when you look at your phone or your fridge, where it is, is that you've got your visual for your goal, that it reminds you to do something and you'll quickly just make that call or things like that. Never lose sight of your goal. Discipline. Have the discipline to invest time, effort and resources into your business. Drive. To move forward. To drive momentum. And to do. Do the things that you need to do to make your business successful. Things like to continue learning, to make phone calls, to do parties, to promote your business, to do that customer service, all those calls. Commit to working your business like a business and not a hobby. Commit to achieving your goals no matter what and you will get there and you will get those fantastic paychecks that you're wanting. Without commitments, your goals are little more than just a really nice fairy tale or a daydream. Remember, Sensi is your how, it's not your why. So achieving lead is how you're going to progress to achieving that big goal that you have. I'm so proud of you, Diamonds. Keep shining as we leap towards lead and I will see you tomorrow.